Welcome back to another group Iron Man episode. I am going to be AFKing a lot of cannonball making in this video. And because of that, I want to actually get 80 Hunter. Because look at this. Here is a crystal impling, and I am going to see a lot of them when I am smithing at this furnace. Thousands of steel bars making them into cannonballs. I am going to miss out on a lot of crystal implings if I do not get that. So I am actually going to go from 73 to 80 Hunter. The uh, only level I'm going to be recording before 80 Hunter, but this is a nice milestone, 75 Hunter achieved, 5 more levels to go. I should, if I don't get PK'd, end around 3000 Black Chins, and I'm not really sure what to use them on. I might just train range with them, because the other option would be at Kriara, but if we're doing it as a 5-man anyways, I don't think we need them, but I'm going to talk with my team about it before I use them. And that is the last trap I have to do. I am at Black Salamanders, by the way, because I got PK'd a couple of times at the Black Chins, and I just wanted to finish 80 Hunters, so there it is. But I managed to get like 1,400 Black Chins, and I think the best way of using them is literally just to get myself closer to 99 ranged. I talked with the team, and they said that we don't really have any use for it, so just use them for ranged. I do want to stack up on some impling jars, so I don't know if this is the best way of doing it, but I just went to Piro Piro and I catch a random amount of these implings or random implings, and I just trade them in for jars, I bank them, and repeat. I should be fine with like 100 of them. I, I don't really think I'm going to catch 100 crystal implings, but it's just nice to have. It has been a very long time since I recorded, and I have been AFKing so much cannonball smithing, you guys have no idea. I am going to show you guys how many cannonballs I have in the bank, as well as how many crystal implings I managed to catch, meanwhile doing all the smithing. So let's go ahead and do that. 40,000 cannonballs. And I still have steel bars left over. That is incredible for my Slayer grind. And I also collected exactly 40 crystal implings. So let's go ahead and open them now and see what we get. Down to the last three implings. No signet yet, but you never know. Could be the last one. And we did not get a signet. The crystal implings can drop Raynar seeds, but I actually got zero of them. But this is all the loot that I got. But I still have some Raynar seeds in the bank if we have a look. 16, I can farm those. Meanwhile, continuing Slayer now with all these cannonballs that I've made should be quite effective. We are back to Slayer and look at that. 247 Necreals. I'm already on the Ancient Spellbook. I have set up a counter here. I have done 36,000 Slayer experience so far, but uh, this is going to go up quite a bit on this task. Very big level incoming here. This is going to be 92 magic. I just hit it right there. And that unlocks Blood Barrage, which is actually going to be very helpful in the future, especially on, for example, the Abyssal Sire. There is uh, some phases where you basically in the end heal off the minions and having the blood barrage is going to heal me quite a bit more than the blood burst so nice to have. So I think all the way until 87 Slayer, I'm just going to do one Slayer level per video because every single level at this point takes quite a while and I don't want to wait like an entire week to post the video. So I'm going to do that and other than that I'm going to work on the hard combat achievements because there is still quite a lot of them left, mostly KC on wilderness bosses and a few tasks on those. So it should be some interesting things to do meanwhile working towards the 87 Slayer. I finally got it, I got a 192 Lizardman task, I recently unlocked them and I want to get the Hard Current Diary done before I do this because you can use the Slayer Helmet with the Shazin gear if you complete this. I have basically all the requirements, the farming I can just boost very easily, so it should not be too much of a big deal to complete this. And I just thought I might as well do Listen Man on Task to try and get a Dragon Warhammer. If I do not get it, it's not the biggest deal. And that's the Medium Diary completed, might as well just complete the hard one as well before I go and collect the rewards, it should be very fast. Monster Examine, I've never cast this in my entire life and this is going to finish the hard diary, there we go. Alright, it is now completed and I uh, guess trolls are combo level 69, we knew that already, he has 90 hit points and some interesting stats, but let's go and get the reward. So first the medium reward with uh, an experience lamp, of course all of this is going into herb lore and also we got the Radas Blessing 3 which uh, only has one prayer bonus right now. It can get a 2 plus if I complete the elite diary but that is a bit too far off. 
But it is pretty good for this teleport right here. You can teleport right to uh, Konar. This is quite a lot faster than I what I've been using before. I used the fairy ring down there. But uh, yeah, let's use these lamps. I think this is the hard one. 15k and another one for 7.5k. Should actually be a level, I think. I was pretty close. Yeah, 72 herb lord. Now I have to go and talk to a guy that is actually pretty close to here. He is right here to make my Slayer Helm work as a Shazian 5 Helm. This guy right here is the guy you have to talk to, and he is actually a relative of Neve, so that's why he's called Captain Cleave. So let's talk to him and do that, and it should be done now, I guess. Yep, that is it. So now I can use this as a Shazian helmet. Oh my god, Celastrus Seed. What is the drop rate of that? I need to look that up. It's not as rare as a Dragon Warhammer, luckily, but uh, 1 in 3,125. Task completed for a grand total of zero Dragon Warhammers. Shaking my head. I actually luckily landed on a Commander Siliana task. I just picked three because I don't really need that many kills to level up and also get this achievement. Commander Siliana Adept for 50 kill count on Siliana. I was already at 49, so that was very easy. Also finished the second achievement, which is the last Commander Siliana achievement I needed, and got 84 Slayer on the kill, which was the Commander Showdown, have all the minions killed when Siliana dies. Now the first wilderness boss I want to complete is the Chaos Elemental. It is pretty easy, I have to do three tasks, and that is 50 kill count, kill the Chaos Elemental without it equipping any of my items, and then kill the Chaos Elemental without taking any damage from its attacks. All of these are pretty simple to do, and the 50 kill count is just a time commitment, so let's do it. I could not get the uh, take zero damage on the first kill because of where the boss was actually spawned, but the hoarder achievement where you basically don't get any of your items unequipped, completed. I realized I had to bank anyways because you can't flinch with ranged, but I got attacked by this PKer at Chaos Elemental right after a kill, and I have no idea what he's doing. I he might even die to me. What is he doing? And he TPs out. What did I just witness? It was just staff bashing me the entire time. This should be the flincher achievement completed, but compared to the bow Ferdinand and the crystal armor, this is extremely slow. So I only wanted to do one kill like this, and I'm going to just tank some damage and use the bow Ferdinand for the 50 kill count. That is kill number 25, no rares yet, but that is the halfway point, and it is pretty fast, so I should be done with this pretty quickly. And that's the last kill for 50 KC and the Chaos Elemental Adept. We got uh, no Dragon Two-Hander and no Dragon Pickaxe. But we are going to go to Venonatis now. Try to get 50 KC there. I think that should be decently easy as well. And Venonatis has way better drops as well than the Chaos Elemental. So we might also get a Dragon Pickaxe there. Who knows? Well, initially I was just thinking that I can just stand in this tile and shoot the boss like I'm doing now, but uh, I realized the bow Ferdinand is not as fast as the magic short bow, and you actually need to attack at this specific speed for it to be stuck like this. But um, the magic short bow with rune arrows is not very good. So this is either going to take ages for me to get 50 kills, or I might have to do the other save spot, which takes a lot longer to do. I guess I'll see what I'm going to end up doing. I'm not joking, I think this actually took me like 7-8 minutes to do, but uh, what is even my KC? 5 KC, so I will have to do 45 more kills. I am definitely doing the longer save spot that is over here at the north. I'm not doing that for 7 minutes per kill. Getting him stuck in this spot is quite a lot more annoying, but yeah, it is more chill and it works with the bow Faradinan, so this is the spot I'm going to be using. And here we go. I was expecting this. There's a lot of PKers at Venonatis, and at the spot I am standing, it is actually multi, and it is pretty risky. So, unfortunately, I'm probably going to die here. I don't have, like, any food left. And I am TB'd, so I am going to just have to accept that I'm probably going to die a couple of times. Well, that is unfortunate. I just lost my Archer's Ring, because before I was using Black Dehydes, I was uh, not risking my Anguish, my Bowfred, and the Archer's Ring. When I swapped the Crystal Armor, I forgot that. So, I brought too many items. Well, after that, I have now at least reached the halfway point. By the way, the Archer's Ring is not super useful anywhere, really, which is uh, why I'm not that annoyed by it, but yeah, it kind of sucks. And here it is. This is the last Venonatis kill for 50 KC. I am so happy this is done. I have been dealing with a lot of PKers at this place, and I just do not really enjoy Wilderness bosses, especially this one, because there's so many PKers. 
But yeah, that is the Venonatus Adept done. Now to take a break from the wilderness stuff, I do actually have two Temporos achievements I can do. One of them is Y Cook, which is really easy. That is just doing uh, one Temporos solo kill basically. And this one is I need the full angler's outfit and subdue Temporos one time wearing it. Of course, getting the angler's outfit takes some time, but uh, should not be too terrible of a grind. Oh, there we go. That's the first piece. Took like seven runs. What is this man? I just did 70 fishing, I've gained 34,000 fishing experience, all at 4.6k an hour, and I have done 59 fishing trawlers, getting one item. Every item is 1 in 12, so I am pretty unlucky. Is this the one? Are Number you actually on fishing trawler 70? Yeah, 70 fishing trawlers. Exactly oh, I got the legs! Nice. Oh my god, finally, 70 <laughs> Oh, Only need two more now. Second blob. Second oh, blob. I got the angler's hat. Nice. Now I'm getting spooned. That was like four, four or something runs after that. This is the one. If it means anything, uh, like everyone said, this is the one every single time I entered the Inferno while streaming it. So loot number 90 is going to be the last one. Wait, you already... Okay, so this is 90? Yeah. <laughs> now you're more dry than anyone Wait, that I've ever back seen. Back to back oysters. That's <laughs> back, back to that back, back pretty oysters. Crazy. Pretty good. That pretty no, that's actually crazy that you're more dry than literally anyone I've ever seen, like even on the internet. That is actually pretty crazy. I do, yeah. I've never seen a player more dry than you. Here, dude, this is the one. This is the one. 91. Oh, it's copium. not. Big copium. Actual copium. 90, not the one. Oh, finally, I have the angler boots. That took such a long time. Holy, that was 95 trawlers to finish the entire set. Finally, I can complete the Temporos Hard Diary parts. Quite a lot easier than getting the angler set, but feels good to be done now. But that is both of the hard achievements for Temporos done. The dress like you mean it, having the full angler's outfit. And Y Cook getting 10 permits in one, which you have to do solo. It's impossible to do in the mass world. But yeah, that is now done. Everything on Temporis is done for the Hard Diaries. Now on the Hard Diary, there is the Scotizo Veteran, which is 10 Scotizo kills. And there is also the Hespori Adept, which is 10 kill accounts. On the Hespori, I have currently 5, so I'm halfway there. But for Scotizo, I only have 2 kill accounts. But uh, I do have uh, quite a bunch of totems in the bank, I have 6 of them, so I can get my KC up to 8, which is not enough, but it is pretty close, and I would like to do that right now. But before I do that, I do need to complete this hard clue scroll, and I do want to complete every hard clue that it drops, so we can open 7 clue scrolls at the end of it. While we have neither a headband or a crozier, so I guess some of the hard clues, unfortunately, will have to go to the ground. Now this hard clue step I actually can get all the items for, Mystic Fire Staff you can actually make after doing the Scorpion Catcher quest, which is a very fast one, so I might as well do it, I do not have it completed, even with 226 quest points, and I will show you guys how to do it after. And that's the quest done, and now you just talk to Tormac, and you said you can enchant my battle staves, I have it in my inventory, let's do the Fire Battle Staff, Enchanted, 40k, and that is now a Mystic Fire Staff, so I have all the items for the clue. And this is the last Cotisa kill for the video. I did only have to drop one hard clue scroll, so we are going to have six after this one. Let's see what we get. And we get a Dark Totem base and four Ancient Shards. That is definitely not bad. So from those Cotisa kills, I got six hard caskets. And what we still need is the Blessed Dehyde Bodies and the Boots. So let's see if we can get any of those. First one is nothing too great. Nothing again. Can I not get this bad caskets, please? What? <laughs> oh my god. At least I'm getting some collection log items, but uh, this might have been some of the worst hard clues I've ever seen for Uniques. Last one. Redeem. Armadol page 1. Yeah, that is pretty bad. I think this is a good point to end the video. I made some nice progress, especially on the wilderness bosses on the hard combat diary. I am pretty happy to be done with half of the wilderness bosses at this point. Of course, we still have Vetion and Callisto left, so that is going to be kind of annoying to do, but it is what it is. Also, in the next video, I do hope to actually get to 85 Slayer and do some Abyssal Sire. 
I need to get 100 KC on this boss. If we can find it, it's right there. So that's going to be quite a time commitment. Before I do end the video though, I do want to quickly shout out that you can actually become a member on my YouTube channel now. I have this set up for a while, but I have never really mentioned it. It's only like $3 a month if you want to support me. It gives some nice badges and that's about it. Also, I will uh, list your name at the end of every video. So if you just want to support my content, you like it and all that... You have the freedom to do that if you want to through the membership program. You just have to click the join button under the channel. But until next time guys, take care.